Kyle in it? I don't know. That's a weird question. Um, I suppose it's, yeah, my aim is just to be myself regardless. Um, yeah, just laid back black guy from Manchester, I suppose. So I grew up with um, my mom, two brothers um, in Stockport. Um, area I'm from is very white was very white, I don't know about now, I've not been back for a while, but um, yeah, it was quite white. Uh, there was maybe one of a family, and that even then, that was 10 years into us living in that area, so um, moved from Gorton to Stockport, and there was um, a bit of crime around. Yeah, it was, it was just a, it was just a, a, a mixed bag of, um, of uh, lifestyles, I guess, um, and Growing up in my household was a bit different. Obviously, I had my mum worked a lot, um, worked like three jobs at a, at a point. Um, my elder brother's obviously got his ways of, of living at the time, trying to work out how to be kind of man of the house, I suppose, from a young age. Um, my younger brother's had his issues too, and I had, I had my own as well. Big fan of football when I was a little kid, grew into music, and then probably haven't stopped with music since, but. Um, yeah, that's basically it really, just kind of working it out as it went on really. It's not usual, it's not uh, normal to have seen more than two other black people in the school um, in Stockport. So yeah, I think that's, that's probably part of it was just identifying and trying to work out who you are really. Um, um, yeah, just trying to kind of figure that out, I guess. The way it was taught, black history didn't really matter. Um, in regards to um, teachers not knowing enough about it to, to, to be able to point you in the right direction, um, not caring enough about it to tell other students what it's about, um, and they were quite dismissive when it came to uh, trying to educate the classes, it just came from a video. Um, as far as I remember, I remember being like 12 and being accused of um, forming some sort of robbery in the area and I was thinking I'm 12 and running to my, I think I was running to like a drama class or something, it was six o'clock. It was, it was, it was stupid, but it was just a, a regular occurrence. And then um, I think word spread enough to know that I'm, I'm far from that lifestyle anyway. So yeah, it was one of those, one of those things, I guess. So I got uh, nominated for an award and uh, yeah, got it. We need to start looking at a bigger picture and um, start looking at how to really benefit, not us, but the people that come in 10 years from now. Um, so we need to work on how to change legislation because obviously in, the, in a country like this where not a lot changes, I feel like until you change the law a little bit, um, people aren't going to change or aren't going to accept change. Um, for example, it's a silly example, but look at your recycle, recycling bins. 10, maybe, I can't remember how long it was, maybe 10, 15 years ago, that was a lot different. You just throw things in the bin and whatever else. But because certain people cared about how you, how we're, we're distributing waste and, and whatever else, now it's, it's, it's separated. Everyone's got, it's a law to put you, well, it's not a law, but it's, it's recommended that you use your bins correctly. And um, there's consistent posts about it, there's consistent reminders, there's threats, there's fines, there's all these things are put in place in order to implement that change. And I don't think until legislation changes in the UK, I don't think there'll be much change uh, in the long run. But I feel like the change in Stockport could be just to educate um, and allow the children to appreciate uh, who they are and where they came from. Yeah, so I feel like black people are the, the cockroaches of the economy, we're, we're very disposable. Um, and so what we end up doing is trying to prove ourselves through clothing, through the car that we drive, through very materialistic um, items, rather than trying to um, implement uh, an economy system that puts us at the bottom, I guess. Um, so yeah, I, as I said, like if you, if you are the 0.0%, 0.0.1%, um, I don't even know what that means, but like if you're that one person who 
has an understanding in, in construction or has an understanding in whatever level of work that you that you have trading whatever it is um sacrifice your the time that you've put into that that craft sacrifice that time and just try and teach another person because as i said there will be black capitalists but there will also be people that will try and use that um to push the black community forward i guess